On this episode of Pointers and Hooks, my cousin RJ is kind enough to take me out for a day of fishing on a chop tank river. We are aiming for stripers and perch. Stay tuned for an action-packed day. I meet him at a local boat ramp and we head out as the day is breaking. Yes, sir. All right. We're here at an undisclosed location. I already saw a few fish jump. We are ready to rock. Well, almost. Now we're ready. Hell yeah. <laughs> we start the morning off by using some large topwater plugs and poppers and see if we can spark up any interest. A few color changes later, we still don't have any action until RJ winds up snagging one on his retrieve end. You got a net? Oh, snagged it. <laughs> First one of the day though. New pair of flowers. Little itty bitty. Mm -hmm. Go ahead back here. Catch one with him. We don't feel much is going on at this spot, so we head over to a spot RJ said he normally has some luck at. So our first plan didn't work out, so we changed spots to another undisclosed location. And we switched up tactics and we went to a peeler on a double reed. Immediately, we called a perch, so it's already working. It's Perch City in this bitty. After having almost immediate luck at this new spot, it was almost like we were reeling in a perch every minute or two, and sometimes even two at a time. Doubler. Catching perch is always fun, but when RJ set this hook, he knew it was something else. Good tunes playing. Perfect day. After the bite slowed down a little bit, we changed double. spots again and quickly get hooked up on three little fish. You have to get a double on this side of the boost too. Oh. 
After having our fun at the bridge, we journeyed to our last spot of the day. I still needed to catch my striper, but one more perch, it couldn't hurt either. As if right on cue, I finally hook into my striper. This one is by no means what I would classify as big, but it's long enough to keep and it's perfect eating size. After RJ reeled in his last fish, I wanted to get the last fish of my own until this happens. There's always that one that gets away and naturally I'm going to say that this was a monster. Alright, well it turned out to be a good day. What do you think? Hell yeah. Yeah, right. Appreciate you taking me out. Yeah, man. At least we got dinner tonight. That's right. <laughs> Damn good dinner. Well, that was a fun day. It wore me slap out. Y'all be sure to subscribe for more videos. If you want any more outdoor apparel like this one, go to www.pointershoehooks.com for all your outdoor apparel needs. Thanks, and we'll see y'all next time.